self granted. So we're in track mode now. So when you release the, well, not the gas, but right. it's like the Tesla where it just stops. Sure. Which is cool. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it's huge. Full electric. I love that GMC bought it. They're trying to revive the brand. Right. Um, and it's insane. A thousand horsepower, wow. which is crazy. The car is almost 10,000 pounds. Oh, wow. Since we're in rocky terrain and we're gonna go into a yak pasture, we're gonna put it in to the, look at this great, look at the graphics. Like, hello. Ooh, yeah, that's they amazing. Spend time on it. So we're gonna do terrain, cause we live in on Casper Mountain. <laughs> so now the car is going to lift up actually. It's lifting as we speak, we just can't feel it. Um, and it'll really, you so you can crab walk in this car. Have you ever seen a car do that? <laughs> I, I've not, I, I've heard of it, that's insane. Autopilot, crab walk, the crazy mode, it has 18 cameras. <laughs> okay. It's just insane. If people have never seen the satellite projection of a car, I think it's fun. It's just such a, it's bizarre underneath. It even has, so if the under camera's dirty, you can spray it with fluid to <laughs> oh clean it. They thought of everything. This is like the Batmobile. Yeah, and it's just silent, it's crazy. So the Yaks love this thing because unlike a Polaris General, um, it's silent. So even though it's bulky, the Yaks are like, oh wow. So they're more keen to be chill. I'm like, I get it. They're not hopping on fumes. Right. No emissions over here. Yeah, that's great. As I get on my private jet, my Rolls Royce is not. That's right. Just... You and Taylor Swift. Oh, I, that's, okay. that's right. <laughs> See, I've borrowed a lot of my friends' jets, so yeah. it must look like they've taken a thousand trips too. I'm like, leave her alone. Right. People think I don't do anything in action. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he just takes pictures of those cows all day. <laughs> Everyone's just munching. Here we'll go. Move it, Dolly. We'll go in the middle so then they're on either side. That could be really cool. So what has been some of your favorite parts about, about living here in, in Casper? Is there Ooh. anything that sticks out? I think, well, I'm, I think it's just because where I came from, it's so different. Sure. So I love having seasons. <laughs> I know people make jokes there's only two seasons in Casper, but <laughs> there are several and I'm enjoying all of them. I think living in California where I was, it was just hot all the time and it only really rained at night. You never got to enjoy lightning storms or thunder. Yeah, what would you think of that one we had a couple oh, weeks ago? It was like five days of consecutive <laughs> rain and lightning out yeah. here, and it's so cool. I think living by the mountain, I get really cool weather. Sure. Sometimes more so than in town. Um, sometimes I feel like I'm in Hawaii out here. <laughs> but I love the blizzards, I love the snow. It's just different from what I'm used to, so I'm ready for it. But I get it, if I grew up here, I'd be ready probably to move to, uh, you know, Florida. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to try the lock, the rocket launch mode? Yeah. What is that? <laughs> We're going to give it a whirl. We got to go on the highway. Okay. So we're going on a field trip. Sure. <laughs> Have you always been into cars? Yeah, never knew I'd be able to afford any. Right. So, <laughs> would love watching car races as a, as a kid. Also beauty pageants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. And that's a cool dichotomy. Like, you know, so many people are like, oh, you've got to like this or this. You are very I much a person that... Love it all. Yeah. I love Barbies and 
AK. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Nothing like an AK-47. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's been nice to have a lot of freedom out here. Just being able to be myself, do what I want. It's nice living on a ranch where you can just open your back door and target practice for fun. Sure. So, I love it. It's quiet out here. You can actually see all the stars at night. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> There's no helicopters or TMZ flying by. <laughs> right. Shortly after you moved here, you got into a pretty crazy car wreck. Yeah, on what? the street. It was on right around right here. Oh yeah. man. It okay. Was, it was a uh, mile down the road. How did that like come about? Was it just icy roads or? It was black. It was really crazy black ice. Sure. Now living in Michigan, I was very used to driving in crazy weather. Um, people make jokes about my fast cars and speeding, and I was actually going very slow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the black ice got me that day. I don't know how. And then I think where I was positioned, it propelled me off a snow, like down a snowbank. Oh man. So I think if it was flat road, it wouldn't have flipped. Sure. So I got a free roller coaster ride. <laughs> Thank you, Natrona County. Right. <laughs> Um, but I healed really great. It's a funny joke now. Sure. You know, it's either laugh or cry and I healed great. It was eye-opening and I was ready to get back to work the next day, you yeah. know. <laughs> um, it's nice to wave at your neighbors. In LA, everyone like looks the other way or they just don't say hi ever. Right. <laughs> well, see, no one believes me, but I've never drank. So I've just, I've gone out to a lot of places mm -hmm. just to have fun. Sure. And I've created a new drink. It's called the Star Yak Refresher. It's a Shirley Temple okay. and Red Bull Yeah. combined. I don't drink, so that would be perfect. Yes. So I'll have to order that. Okay, ready for it? Yes. One, two, woo, here we go. And no one is around us. We're feeling great. It wants me to, we're lowering the vehicle now. Instead of going up, we're now lowering. We're putting this new baby through the works. <laughs> it's so cool that a Hummer can do this. Oh yeah. It's nuts. We're used to, you know, because when the recession hit years ago, everyone was like, we can't afford our Hummers anymore. <laughs> the gas was insane. I'm sure, yeah. And now here we are. Ooh, ready? You hear it charging? You hear that torque? All right, one, two. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> that G-Force. And look at this speedometer, it's great. There it is. And it went zero to 80 in four or five yeah, seconds. Yeah, that was incredible. <laughs> Isn't that fun? That was so fun. And if you want, you can do it again. Yeah, let's do it again. I know. So smooth. Like if we were in a Ram truck, it oh, would yeah. be like... Moving all over. Wow. And this is kind of the perfect vehicle for, for Wyoming. So how long does it take to like charge or like how, how does that part work? Okay, so I think because they're so new, let's go in normal mode so we can drive home. Um, hours, okay. honestly. Now, are there superchargers available? Yes, only a few in Wyoming. If we're in California, probably around this corner. Sure. Um, there's Tesla chargers at Hat 6. I'm praying they do a normal one for like all the other vehicles soon. Because I clicked nearest, oh my God, look, you want to see it? Yeah. You ready for this? You're not ready for the nearest charger. All the locals to make fun of me. <laughs> so Rocky Mountain Electric graciously came the next day after I got this delivery and they installed the charger. Oh wow. Because if not, you ready for the nearest one? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, let me click it. So we're going to Gillette. Oh wow. <laughs> Camel Drive. Okay. <laughs> and that's the nearest one. So it's good to know there's one in Gillette. I have some friends, some ranch friends out there. I have made some real Wyoming friends now, which Good. is really nice. Yeah. People that are just down to earth and chill, don't care about what I do. And we just talk about cowboys and ranching. You know, yaks have really brought a lot of people into my world. It's, yeah. it's been really beautiful. Yeah, I'm grateful for them. What What are your plans for them? I know that you've, you've uh, expanded into some restaurants. That's been awesome. How did the partnership with Tacos Mexico come about? Oh, so when I was first visiting Casper and I flew here, it actually, oh my God, so two years ago, it snowed on Labor Day. Is that, yeah. That's yep. September. Yep. It snowed on Labor Day. How did that not make you be like, oh, okay, never oh, mind. I loved it because I wanted <laughs> snow. Right. And I made a joke like, you guys, if it snows today, um, I'm buying a house next week. And of course, it's me and I, I don't know, crazy energy or it's just life. It's snow 10 inches. Oh, wow. and my 
assistant and friends that were with me were like, I guess this is it. Okay, Wyoming <laughs> it is. That's incredible. That's Isn't awesome. Cool? Yeah, so we love it. So we're gonna, exp oh, so Tacos Mexico, first week I ever came here, I ate at Fire Rock HQ and Tacos Mexico. And I knew the owner was from Southern California when, when I went in there and I was like, oh, it's cool. It's been here for a long time. That real recipes, not just, you know, yeah. generic food. Sure. And it just tastes so good. Oh, I love eating. I'm a stoner, I have the munchies a lot. I'm gonna get cool. I'm gonna add some more cameras. That's what the hole in the brick is. I'm gonna do more high fencing here. And then she's ready. But everyone that built the gate and everything so far is just all um, local. That's amazing. Which is cool, the steel work, the metal sign, yeah. And I think that's, you know, people really, they, they hear about that and they respect that a lot. And I think they're more, kind of willing to quote unquote accept outsiders because yeah. like I said you're you're giving back to the community in so many ways you're helping other people make money which is I amazing it's important you know and I think because I've been on the other side when my brand was so new and it's like well, you can go buy L'Oreal but <laughs> or you can you know get something real when did you know that you wanted to get into cosmetics like when was that I mean I was just always obsessed with makeup since like 12 years old so i was but see i was afraid of starting my own company i was afraid of starting a brand so when my music career was um not going where i wanted to go it was like oh my god am i gonna go work at the mat counter again or am i gonna finally believe in myself with this new thing so i just said you know what i'm going full on i was not about to go be at the makeup counter at the mall anymore sure. <laughs> You know, humbling beginnings, but I just knew that I was destined for more. So my best friend left Bozeman, Montana, and also joined me in Casper. And he was just same thing. He goes, Casper right now feels like Bozeman 10 years ago. And we didn't want to go to Jackson Hole, very pretentious, big houses like LA, no acres. I right. wanted to be on a real ranch, yeah. you know? Um, not that there's not ranches out there, but it's just a community, right? And it's just, eh. And the other cities just weren't for me. Found Casper, loved the vibe, loved the food, loved how nice everyone was. Everyone was so helpful. Everyone was asking, "How are you?" Versus, "What can you do for me?" "Who are you?" "What can I get out of you?" Da, 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 da. Um, and everyone was really positive. Is there a few people that don't get me? Yeah, that's everywhere. Yeah. I think it's funny. Sure. Um, no one really bothers me. I'm not going anywhere. I've been through two winters, and she's still here. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> um, and I love it. I've, I've really embraced this town. I've I love being here, and we're excited to grow our yak business. I think Casper is going to be the hot spot of yaks for America. Yeah. And Wyoming in general. And I think the next phase is a retail spot.